Hello and welcome to the NetData version 2.0 release notes. This release has native Windows support, updates to our SSO mechanism, alert silencing rules, timeouts for reachability notifications, and more. Come along for the ride, let's explore these releases highlights. Native Windows support. NetData now delivers comprehensive monitoring for Windows systems, including metrics, logs, processes, machine learning, alerts, streaming, and more. There is a new MSI installer for Windows to seamlessly get the agent running on your system. Adding Windows to our fleet of supported OSs meant that we needed a new Windows plugin. It collects extensive system and application metrics, covering CPU, memory, network performance, physical and logical disks, network stacks, interfaces, IIS, MSSQL, .NET, and Hyper-V. The Apps plugin has also seen some updates to be able to monitor Windows processes. Finally, to get logs working on Windows, a new Windows Events plugin was made that offers in-depth visibility into Windows Events and can be accessed from the Logs tab. Note that to access the dashboard of a Windows agent, you will need to be on a paid NetData Cloud subscription. Processes and Network Monitoring Updates Apps plugin has been significantly reworked to introduce dynamic processes grouping. This means that the other dimension is now gone and processes are automatically grouped. Additionally, the SNMP collector has been significantly improved to make configuration easier and provide better visualization for devices. The redesigned Network Viewer plugin and local listeners now deliver breakthrough performance in high traffic environments, processing thousands of socket connections with minimal overhead. SSO mechanism updates. You can now have secure access to child agents even when not directly connected in a data cloud. SSO information is propagated from parent agents down to children, ensuring consistent and controlled access. There is a new configuration setting in a data.conf that enforces SSO protection of the entire API, restricting agent dashboard access to only authorized NetData Cloud users. Also, you can now initiate a login flow directly from the NetData sign-in page without initiating the SSO flow from the IDP. NetData now supports configuring a DNS TXT record on the IDP and will allow the user to sign in by providing their email address. NetData Referral Program If you appreciate NetData and would like to help spread the word, the newly launched NetData Referral Program helps you earn money while getting more people to explore NetData. Referring someone is easy to do with the help of a couple clicks directly from the UI. Try it out! New features on alerts and notifications The UI now supports scheduling recurring silence rules for alerts in a space, room, node, and alert level. Along with that, there are now configurable timeouts and reachability notifications, so you can set a delay for the whole space or a single room individually. Lastly, some QL improvements, NetData now provides complete UDF8 compatibility, enabling you to see whatever language you want on a chart name, dimensions, labels, and even logs. In the same fashion, there is now human-friendly unit notation on configuration files, meaning you can use natural expressions like 1D and 500MS, and so on. And these were our highlights, but there is way more at our full release notes, so make sure to take a look at the description to read more. Thanks for watching and make sure to stick around for more.